guys. I don't work with Discovery like six times. So their prices are really affordable. Plus they got some good wigs. So if you guys are wondering who I'm talking about, it is Icy Hair. They sent me a body weight wig. I think it's like 20 inches. But I really feel like it's more than that. Um, they sent me these bomb lashes that came with this hair. I will definitely post a pic and still pic of the actual box packaging, all that stuff when I first got it. Check them out. Check them out for real. Um, their hair always dyes really good. It's a nice hairline. Like getting one of those big thick hairlines. I don't even think they make those type anymore like wigs in general. But they have a nice pre-plucked, factory pre-plucked lace front wigs you know of course you probably might need to pre-plug a little bit more but they give you a decent like lace front that has a nice amount of pre-plucking so if you don't know how to pre-pluck you don't really have to do too much i just bleached it like i always do okay and i did so in an elastic band and it comes with the combs and it has a comb and adjustable strap in the nape it's a lace front 13 by 6 elastic bands are really easy to sew in like i said this I sewed in. You can always tell. I always know it's their wigs because they always have like this greenish color right here. After I bleached it, I did use the purple shampoo. I think it sat in for like two to three hours. That that definitely helped. This time around, I did not use any of my lace when, lace tinting sprays. They always seem to bleach easy. The knots always seem to lift with no problem. So I never have to use a tinting spray with theirs. I'ma just, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take this off. I'm going to cut the back of the nape off, and we're going to just go from there. What I really want to do, because I already did this in another video, is I want to cut out the back portion of the nape right here. I really want to cut this off, this little flappity thing. Like, these things can be so tedious to me at times. I'd rather just have it straight across, and then I could just pull a little bit of my own hair out, and then I'm good to go. I am going to cut the flappity flap thing off. So all I do, basically, is I just take the wig I go to where the flap starts at right here and you can see that it's actually just a piece there's just two little tracks sewn on so it's really not making a difference so you just want to find where that very first track is that you want to cut right above it don't cut any further up because you don't want to cut off any of the straps And that's it, okay? The flappy thing is off, so that way it'll go straight across in the back. I just cut these off now. You know what I'm saying? You can save them. I'm not really sure what you want to do with them. You you know, listen, we are very creative. You can make you a bang with this girl. There's all type of things you could do with this. So now let's just do this video real quick. Okay, you guys, so you see I already put the wig on and I'm just checking the ear tabs on the side to make sure that they fit properly because sometimes you will need to cut them off just a little bit so that way the wig lays flat to your head and you don't see any of the lace. Um, and this is the part that's the most important, I think, of installing any lace wig to make sure that you cut the lace as close as possible as you can. You don't want to cut directly onto the hairs, but you want to just leave a tiny bit of lace, you know. Now, that's what I'm doing here. Having a little bit of difficulties, but I'm okay with it, you know. That's why I tell you guys I prefer like the smaller scissors because they just make my life a whole lot easier when it comes to cutting the lace. And of course I do cut off some of the little bit of hairs as you see because I don't need my hairline or my baby hairs to be too close to my eyebrows. You know my forehead is a little bit longer so I do have some room to just bring it down a little bit more. But you know I do think that I don't need too much you know so I just cut off just a little bit and it fits perfectly that's why I gave it the thumbs up you guys so now it's time for the sideburns I say this all the time it's optional but listen girl if you don't make baby hairs or sideburns it, I mean baby hairs or wispy hairs at least make you some sideburn hairs girl you know what I mean because the sideburn hairs are what's up and I just take me a clip I take my got to be glam force hairspray and I'll spray a little bit right here and then when you see the lace right here I spray right in between the lace on the lace actually so I spray in between the baby hairs and the actual hair you know I'm just saying hairline whatever but this spray is amazing it dries really quick so if you don't have a blow dryer then you don't have to worry about it but don't go spraying crazy if you don't have a blow dryer just spray in sections like how I did right here and just press down with your rat tail comb you definitely want to make sure you press down by the ears and kind of like over the ears and that's sometimes a mistake that we don't do so make sure that you definitely press down and if you have a blow dryer, you can do the step now. I just take the nozzle of my blow dryer like you see me doing right here and I press back 
towards the hair. So that way I'm smoothing the hairline out. Along with that, I'm attaching the wig. And I just press into my lace with my rat tail comb. And I definitely make sure to get on the corners right there where your ears are at. Now this thing is stuck for days. Like it seriously is stuck down. So you don't have to worry about this hairspray. It will hold a few days. And if you put you on a scarf at night, girl, then it will hold like four to five days. Definitely if you put a scarf on. The only thing that you will have to tack down more than likely would be the sideburn hairs. So you want to make sure that you spray really close because you don't want the hairspray to mist out all over the place. So try to get as close as possible so that way it can stream in one direction and just hold it down and spray. I mean, it blow dry. And like I said, I take my nozzle and I'm flattening the hairs along with that. It makes the process a little bit easier versus the hot comb, even though I will use that as well. But girl, I don't want to burn myself. So look, it is dry, hunties, and it's stuck down. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut away at my sideburns and my baby hairs and I cut in the angle degree because I don't want all of the hair to be like the same length you know I kind of give it like a layered look and I kind of do the baby the sideburns like kind of like by my ear and I just repeat that step on the opposite side and if you're wondering why I have on my workout outfit today, it's because I was about to work out after I finished this video. And I did get this workout outfit from my daughter Nay's job, which is Airy. They are sister company to American Eagle. I love that store. They have such great deals. The clearance is bomb. Like they have some really nice clearance. And the entire workout set that I have on was on clearance, girl. I think the top was like 14 and the pants was like 13. 60% off beautiful bras and panty sets. Way better and more affordable than Victoria's Secrets. Plus their clearance aisle is huge. And you can definitely check them out online too. Airy, A-R-I-E, Airy.com. Where you can get you some really nice undergarments as well as clothes. But you know, a girl gets this, the clearance price and a discount because my daughter works there. But I thought I would just throw that out to you guys in case you were wondering where I got the workout outfit at. So now I'm going to take my Got To Be Glam Force Gel that I keep in a jar because it helps to oxidize it. And I'm just going to apply that with my rat tail comb. Only because I want it on the roots of the hair. I don't want it on the entire hair. And I'm just going to sculpt me some wispy hairs or baby hairs. Whatever you want to call it. Time for a drink break, which is some Dunkin' Donuts, girl. I decided to go dark roast this time. I love me some iced coffee, especially the caramel flavor. Dunkin' Donuts is my favorite. And then, you know, you brush it out, look cute. This wig is gorgeous. I always smell the hair. I'm not really sure why, but it's actually really pretty. The hair is gorgeous. It was supposed to be 20 inches, but I honestly believe that it was more than that. And you know, this is the part where I'm just going to flatten it a little bit more. Girl, be careful when you're using a hot comb because you really don't want to burn yourself. But do you see how this wig melted, hunties? Yes. And I don't really do middle part. But you can de definitely check out Icy. They got some bomb here. Just a little wax stick to control those flyaways, but it also helps press the hair down as well. But you don't want to put a lot of a wax stick on there. I think this hair came out gorgeous. And I'm just going to reapply some more of my facial powder since I did, you know, remove it to apply the wig. And a little bit on the roots or the lace of the wig just to make sure that it matches. <laughs> So I gotta make this real quick because I gotta go get Mumsy from school. But listen, 
the tutorial should say it all this wig is bomb I love icy hair they have bomb hair this is definitely not 20 inches I think this is like 24 I'm not really sure it's super long and I absolutely love it it just blends so nicely it bleaches easy the lace is always perfect the cap always fits perfect so you don't have to like cut the ear tabs off like I really do like their wigs a lot this is like some gorgeous hair and I had this hair for like since the beginning of July you know I did have a lot of videos that I needed to do prior and then unfortunately you know circumstances happened within my family and I you know had to take a break for a while I'll definitely link that video below if I remember so that way you guys can understand where I was if you don't but I see hair I see princess they sent the bomb is um lashes with this wig and um I love them I'm not really sure if I could wear them but yeah I like this a lot so yeah you know what I always say save the best for last hunties so let me let y'all go I gotta get mumsy you know I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial check out I see so on that note I love you stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe all that good stuff and I will see you child in another video